so I can recap Podcast some tips. Ever. Yeah, go for it. Let's round it up. Okay, so some tips. If you feel like staying somewhat on track and towards, you know, working towards your goal on Thanksgiving, we'll say that, because it's just not going to be perfect, right? You're not going to track every Listen, if you want to feel like shit on Friday, say fuck Have it. Have a good time. Go, go bananas. Don't listen to yeah. a word of advice that we ever say <laughs> or anybody else for that matter. And enjoy it and be okay with it yeah. and d- deal with it on Friday. But, but if you don't want to feel like shit and you want to indulge a little bit but not go crazy, here's some quick tips that you can do tomorrow to help alleviate that. Number one, work out in the look, morning. Look over here. Nobody's going Where are we looking? Jeez. Look over here. Work. I can't see the lights. So All right. Hard. So look over here. Work out in the morning. Look over here. Get a, get a workout in. Right? So whether it's fasted run, fasted cardio, you jump on your bike that's at home, your Peloton, whatever, go to the gym, get a workout, get a workout in, set your day up in a caloric deficit, but also get the blood flow and start feeling good. Second thing, do not skip any meals tomorrow. The second you skip meals, you will start to be really hungry when you actually sit down and chances are you're gonna overeat because you're too hungry. So eat your meals regularly leading up to that Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe just eat a little bit less than you're normally used to per meal, but don't skip a meal. Third thing, fill your plate up with salads and vegetables as a first course. It'll help fill your belly so you don't overeat on all the stuff that has the most impact. It really has helped a lot, uh, you know, in me and with other people I've worked with. I love with. salads too. Yeah, salads are great. First of all, you're getting great vitamins, nutrients, there's crunch, there's color, there's so much flavor in it. And again, it's gonna fill your belly. So the chances are when you get to eat all the stuffing, the cranberry sauce, the vegeta- you know, the, the potatoes, you're gonna be a little bit fuller, you just won't eat as much. The fourth tip is remember that that Thanksgiving meal can be eaten multiple times. You can eat that meal every three to four hours. So if you just cut your portion back a little bit, know that you can do that again in four hours. And Friday and then you can Saturday. Do it again. You can keep it going. It doesn't have to be just a one-time meal. The sweet potatoes, the yams with the butter and the, and the, and oh, the, and the brown, brown sugar, sugar. That your mom makes. Like you can make that. Like I, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not yeah. gonna eat it all on. The dinner tomorrow. No, we'll take leftovers and we'll eat that for like the next like three days. Like that's legit. And the other tip, another really cool little tip is remember that when you're sitting at a table and the food is on the table and you're trying to have conversation with people but you just keep looking back at that food and you're seeing it in your peripheral or your vision, that can really cause a lot of tug and war where you're like, oh, I'm trying to have conversation, but I really want to eat that food, but ah, oh, what do I do? My biggest thing that I do is I literally remove myself from the table, out of sight, out of mind. So I'll go to the bathroom, even though I don't have to go to the bathroom, I'll just sit in the bathroom for a couple minutes and deep breathe. I'll take Cheech for a walk, or I'll even start cleaning up dishes, because once it's out of my vision, I stop thinking and obsessing over it. And that has helped tremendously um, you know, in my world. So those are the four quick tips if you want to stay, stay somewhat disciplined. I want to say just get your workout in and uh, enjoy yourself. Guys, thank you very much. Project My Life, we did it live today. I'll share it. I'll chop it up. I'll do what I can. I need to shower first because I stank. True. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, I'm having a good time with this stuff. How white I am. I haven't seen this. Believe in yourself. Trust the process and practice patience. Karen. Recap it because this is going to go on all the platforms iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'll chop some TikTok videos up. I'm, oh on a, dear. I'm on a content creating machine. Yo, I had one video of me doing that little Zazz machine at Costco. It's got like 620,000 views on it, which for me, besides being on MTV and, and national television, I've never had a social media go or so, something social media wise go as they say viral or, or have that kind of reach um How which many? is cool tiktok 625,000, which is cool and it's me dancing on a fucking machine in costco random i was like yo grab the camera real quick that was fun and that's why gary v says document don't create just do shit just do random shit don't judge it that's not in the you know anthony any brand or that's not in line with you know teaching fitness i guess i was Test driving a fitness idea. But anyway, 
What's, it, what's the end, Karen? Wrap it up. Oh, listen to this quote. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. So Boom. That's a great way to end this one because if you just wish it, it takes, it takes the same amount of energy to just plan it out then rather than say, oh, I wish I could lose weight on Thanksgiving. Deal. Believe in yourself. Trust the process and practice patience. Hashtag Ask Minetti. Have fun, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Be grateful. Yeah.